Let's demonstrate a special orthopedic assessment test for the knee joint known as Apley's compression test. The idea of Apley's compression test is that with the client's knee flexed 90 degrees, if I push the tibia down into the femur, straight down toward the table, we will create a compression in the knee joint, but especially at the posterior side of the knee joint. And if the menisci, lateral meniscus or medial meniscus, if either of the menisci are torn, damaged, inflamed, then that compression would most likely reproduce the client's characteristic pain inside the knee. So a positive is knee pain, negative is no knee pain. Now for the sake of our viewing, we have our client Catherine and she has brought her other thigh off the end of the table, the side of the table, so we have an unobstructed view here. So she has her knee joint flexed to 90 degrees. I have the table low enough that I can get my upper body weight over her foot so I can use my body weight to create the compression force. I place this hand on her calcaneus. The other hand is wrapped around her distal leg, tibia and fibula. I drop down with body weight over my hand through her calcaneus, compressing the posterior knee joint. Then to increase the sensitivity of this test, I can add tibial rotation, medial and lateral internal and external. So I drop down and using my left hand, I rotate her tibia one direction and I rotate her tibia the other direction. And the compression plus the torsion, the rotation, will create a force, a physical force, into the posterior menisci. And again, if she has pain, positive Apley's compression test for the posterior menisci. And if she does not have pain, negative Apley's compression test.